Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a circular video to lay on top of another video like the one you are viewing right now. Over here, I have an image called PNG Circle Green. I created this image file and I'll have a link to download this in the description. Okay, over here, I have my project file, so I'm going to go ahead and open that. It might take a while if your computer is slow, like mine. <laughs> so now we are seeing the project file. So what we're going to do now, we are going to copy track 2, which is the talking head video. As you can see, the default one is a little square in the right corner. So we're going to click on this track, and then we, we are going to copy this, Control c and then Control v to paste it. Now I have another track. Then next, I'm going to disable my original talking head file and also this screen recording by click on this lock button and we're also going to disable it so we don't see it. So let's disable that. All right, now we have our talking head video, uh, track number three. Now we are going to full size it. So let's go ahead and bring it up. I'm going to bring it to the center because that's how I designed my circular file. Okay, now we are going to bring in our circle file. Just go ahead and drag and drop into the medium bin. Then I'm going to lay this on top of my talking head video. So over here it's in track 4. We are going to extend this so it covers the entire track. Okay, now we have two active tracks. We have track number 3 and number 4. So we are going to save this as a video file. I click on share and local file. And then over here, you can choose whatever setting that you usually use. And I usually use WMV, so I'm going to go ahead and click next, 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 and more next. Okay, then click on finish. My file is really small since it's a demo file, so it's going to be pretty quick. But if your file is really big, it might take a while. Alright, so now the file is ready, I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. I'm going to make it smaller. So I can go to my desktop. I save my video file in my desktop. So I'm going to bring this into my folder. So everything is in one folder. Okay, now we are going to drag this video file and pull it into our medium bin. Now we no longer need track 3 and 4. So I'm going to delete those two. And then we are going to bring in the video that we just rendered. Bring it down right here. Okay, next up is where the metric happens. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and right click on this video. And then we are going to click on add visual effect and remove a color. Okay, now, depends on where the default setting is, you might not get the result that you want. And what you will need to do is work on the setting under remove a color. If you don't see this panel, then what happens is your properties panel is not enabled. So just click on properties and you will see this. And over here, if I remember correctly, I need to change my tolerance to 60. Yep, that looks pretty good. If I change the soft, nope, no, it's, that's not helping. So you might have to play around with the setting until you get the result that you want. Okay, so now we have successfully removed our background. And you can just move the video file around like a regular video file. And you can also resize it like so. Now, right now, we don't see anything else, right? So let's go ahead and bring back our original files. Track 1 and track 2. Now, I still see my talking head video. Let's move this one over. I still see this one right here. I don't need that anymore, so I can go ahead and delete track number 2. And there you have it. Now you just need to move this around and position it wherever you want. And let's play to make sure it's working. Hello, this is a testing video. Okay, all right, it's working. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.